Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the Google Nest Home Wi-Fi. If you want one of the best and most reliable Wi-Fi systems that will pair seamlessly into your Google Smart Home, then this is the product that was built for you. Built to be easily integrated into your smart home, it boosts your Wi-Fi signal around your entire house and gives you that hands-free system that you've always wanted. It's easy to see why it's considered to be one of the best Wi-Fi routers in the entire world, or at least it was. It was originally released a few years ago. But how do they hold up today? Are they still one of the best Wi-Fi systems in the entire world? Or did they just get passed in the market? Let's find out. Well, for starters, Google gives you a very easy setup process. You need to download the Google Home app to your phone or tablet where you can follow the instructions to give you a breakdown how to set up your Google Nest Wi-Fi. You'll plug in and power on your Nest router, then you'll need to plug the router into your modem with the included ethernet cord. After about a minute, the router should start to pulse white. In the Google Home app, you'll hit the add button in the top left, then hit set up device. From that point, just follow the instructions on the app until you're asked to scan the QR code, which is located at the bottom of the router. From there, you'll need to create the name and password for your network. When the setup is finished, the light on the front will be solid white. You then compare any extenders with a similar process to establish a mesh network in your home. Overall, the setup process is quick and easy. The Google Nest Wi-Fi comes with a rounded white casing that should fit with nearly any decor. It's a compact frame that's easily hidden, a tough rubber base, and a design that's become a classic for smart home devices. The router has four internal antennas that provide a solid 2200 square feet of signal coverage, and one Wi-Fi point delivers additional coverage for a total area of 3800 square feet. You can collect a maximum of 32 Wi-Fi points, and it's compatible with older generations. You also get a pair of Ethernet ports, although one is needed to connect to your modem. Overall, connectivity and range isn't the best on the market compared to more recently released Wi-Fi systems, but it's more than enough for an average person and the vast majority of people. With regards to home automation, it offers outstanding functionality, which makes a great option as a smart router. Each Wi-Fi point doubles as a Nest mini speaker. They have a 4.8 amplifier and a 1.6 inch speaker integrated inside the system. Overall, they can deliver some solid audio considering it's a router. Don't get me wrong, it's not a music device, but it's good enough and better than I expected. You also get Google Assistant support and the nodes have a four far field mic array on top that can register your voice commands from around 15 feet away. I also like that it's compatible with the Google's broadcast feature, so they can be used as an intercom, and you can disable the mic with a switch to maintain privacy. The hub can even stream music directly from your preferred streaming service. This is a very rare to see in a mesh router system, and can be a huge bonus for people to replace a Google Home Mini or another smart device. The app is the standard Google Home app you're probably already familiar with. It allows you to add Wi-Fi points, adjust the brightness of the LED lights, run a network or speed test, and can restart the network. You can also limit internet access time, create a guest network, or set a priority device for bandwidth. However, I would have liked to see more advanced settings, such as setting a static IP addresses or choosing the Wi-Fi channel. If you're looking for an alternative with more robust configurations that you can do with that, the Euro Mesh Wi-Fi router is comparably priced and the app delivers some advanced features. By the way, if you're really enjoying this video or even learning something about the Google Home Mini, then why don't you consider giving the video a like? It'll help our channel grow as well. And if you're looking for prices already, Check the links in the description below. The Google Nest Wi-Fi has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor and a pair of digital signal processors, along with one gigabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of flash storage. It utilizes a dual band system with two Wi-Fi channels, so it lacks the wireless backhaul capabilities and efficiency of tri-band options. However, it provides a useful band steering function that reroutes information to the least congested band for an optimal connection, which is impressive for a home automation hub. It also uses beamforming to tune the signal for individual devices, and it can connect up to 100 devices per unit. I thought the performance was solid and on par with a lot of similarly priced newer router models, and it's rated to operate at maximum data transfer rates up to 2.2 gigabytes per second across the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. The signal was strongest close up naturally, but it remained reliable at medium distance, which is respectable signal coverage for a mesh router. It has no problems transmitting through walls, and you can always add more Wi-Fi points. The major downside is the lack of Wi-Fi 6, which has quickly become more standard for newer router models. Although most people won't fully be able to utilize Wi-Fi 6 to its full capabilities, it is worth noting it's not the fastest router in the world anymore and lags behind in that category. Overall, the Google Nest Wi-Fi is an easy to use, easy to function system that still has great capabilities to this day. Although it does lack in speed because it doesn't have Wi-Fi 6, and if you're someone looking for the newest and best router system, then it's probably not the one for you. It's a combination of solid performance, home automation capabilities, and an easy setup process and a seamless integration into your smart home. Still makes this a very solid choice and one of the best router systems by today's standards. But hey, that's just my opinion. Why don't you guys tell me your opinions in the comment section down below. If you're looking for updated pricing, the links are in the description. And if you like this video or even learned something, why don't you give the video a like and subscribe if you like short tech informative videos. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.